good morning. Yes, it is morning and I am not ready for you, but I am ready for breakfast and I wanted pancakes. Okay, so I'm going to make pancakes, right? <clears throat> Normally, you make it with almond flour or coconut flour or both. You can combine them. I've done that and they're good. But I came across a recipe uh, from ketopig.com and they have a recipe that combines the coconut flour with cream cheese. And I thought, wow, that, well, that would be a great, like, fat bomb pancake, you know, because it's got all the good fat in there. Whereas the other flour pancakes, they're not so high in fat and um, it doesn't make the greatest high fat breakfast meal. This would, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to try their recipe exactly. I'm not going to experiment. That's new. <laughs> so let's see how these taste. All right, now, so I've laid out all the ingredients here. I've got the coconut flour and baking soda and baking powder. It calls for both. Um, I found that to be a bit unusual for pancakes, but that's what it calls for. It calls for, uh, of course, the cream cheese and eggs, four eggs. Uh, it calls for monk fruit. Um, I typically use Swerve as my sweetener of choice, but I am actually going to follow this to a T and use monk fruit in this recipe. Um, I also, for maple syrup, have the monk fruit syrup blend that I got from Amazon. I believe you could get that at other places online, but that's where I got that. And, um, and some vanilla. So that's really all the ingredients that are going to go into this. It says to mix the wet ingredients first and then pour the dry ingredients in there. So let's do that. All right, so I've cut off my head here. Um, see my mouth. <laughs> and that's because I need my eyeglasses on uh, for cooking purposes. And so I have my bowl ready. I actually softened the cream cheese a little bit, got it at room temperature. Uh, that's because it's going to make it easier to blend everything in here uh, to stir it up. So I'm going to put in four ounces of the cream cheese and I'm going to crack the eggs in here and that's because we're doing the wet ingredients first. And it calls for half a teaspoon of vanilla. <clears throat> so I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of that into the wet mixture because it's wet. And now we just stir this mixture up. Okay, that doesn't stir so well with a spoon, as I have discovered, so I'm going to get out my whisk and see if that does a better job. Whisk. Okay, so the whisk helps, but unfortunately, when you're dealing with cream cheese, I think I need to use a hand mixer to blend this because it's just lumpy as heck. I was going to say lumpy as hell, <laughs> but I didn't. Oh, I just did. I said I was going to get out my hand mixer and I decided to get out my electric uh, whisker. So that's what I'm using. Okay, so the, uh, the electric whisker seemed to break it all up and that's good. Uh, it probably would have taken a very long time to do it by hand. Now we add the dry ingredients. So it called for six tablespoons of coconut flour. Let's drop that in there. It called for um, a half a teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. I combine that in a doohiggy. And then I've got one tablespoon of sweetener and that's going in there. Again, I could have used Swerve instead of my monk fruit, but this was my choice. Where's my spoon? What'd you guys do with my spoon? 
Aha. All right. Let's stir that up, shall we? It's a little lumpy. I'm going to use the whisker. There we go. I have to tell you, though, the one thing about the keto diet is since I started cooking, I made sure to have all the cool kitchen gadgets. You know, just invest in your kitchen gadgets because if you're doing cooking, I'm telling you, it's worth it to have all the gadgets. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I've got everything in there. ba bum, And let's start cooking. I've let the pan get really hot and now I'm just going to spray some uh, coconut oil. Oh, that's out. <laughs> Do I have any almond oil? Okay. Let's try almond oil. Okay. It's nice. The oil, you want that to get good and hot too. It, um, soaks up into the pancake. All right, so I've got the mixture, pancake mixture. I use like a little measuring uh, cup to drop it in there. This seems really thick, almost too thick. I think that's thicker than I like pancakes, but I said I wasn't gonna change this recipe, but I feel like changing it just a little bit. Why is it, see how thick that is? I think that's going to make a very thick pancake. Well, all right. I said I wasn't going to change it. All right. Let's see how it goes. I'll do a really big pancake. This gets pretty thick. All right. So be it. Well, I checked. They don't seem to bubble on top, which the... Normally pancakes do to indicate you can flip them because I did check this one is pretty brown underneath And so it, it's actually almost burnt. So I'm flipping that Didn't give me bubbles. <laughs> so don't rely on bubbles to form Okay, how are we doing? See they look done on the other side. There we go Ta-da these are nice and hot and ready for me to eat. I've got the last pancake on the grill. I've got my butter, and now for my maple flavored syrup that is made with monk fruit. And add that on the first one and the top one. Ready to eat. Oops, oh, wait, 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 sorry. Almost forgot about this guy. All right. So here we go with my fat bomb pancake. Mm. Oh my, oh my. I think you guys are gonna like this. Probably with my mouthful. You guys, you will like this. The other thing that if you like to add flavor, um, I have like banana extract and I often add these into my pancakes for that banana taste since we can't have bananas on the keto diet. Um, I mean that's good in the mixture if you like that flavor in your pancakes, but um, these are very good. I like them a lot and they are fluffy. Fluffy pancakes. What can be better? All right, well, try this, guys. It's um, high fat. Gotta turn that off. It's high fat, and um, so that makes it a, a really good breakfast all by itself. All right, enjoy.